You give me like, is this shit even real vibes? What's up, Lost Dawns? So we're back with another unboxing. Um, I guess when DHL sent these, they kind of like ripped my package, but that's all right. That's okay. Um, but what I really already like about this box, one, I can't say the company's name because I do not know how to pronounce it. And I don't know if I kind of want to promote them yet. Let's see if they did a good job first. But it says contains positive energy on a sticker. Just know I'm stealing that. Thanks for the idea, company. I have no problem stealing stuff from companies that uh, make me pay for their products. Right now, I'm not above paying for products, but since I have to pay for it, I'm definitely not stealing it. I mean, definitely not. And then, it's like I gotta cut the sticker, but okay. Okay, I need something sharper. All right. Guess who's not the brightest bulb in the box today? Me. All right, so let's just get right in. Just, okay, this sticker is made out of metal. All right, I feel like we far as fuck away from each other. Like, do y'all even know me personally anymore? All right, there we go. I can actually see myself now. Right, so we ripped open the sticker. Right, let's see what we got. I'll be acting like y'all already haven't read the title. I'm gonna start doing mystery unboxing. Oh, okay. Okay, I like I like what I see. Oh shit, it's a smile, but it's like in a iridescent thing. Yo, everybody's packaging is nice. And then it has like all of the brands that they sell. Um, just all of the brands that they sell. See, but it's a smile. At first I thought it said slime, and I was about to be like, hey, they let, but they not that much. Eh? Then this is dope, because they must print this unless it's Okay, I'm not that stupid. I'm gonna say, oh, they must print the word on it once they seal the envelope, but clearly it's already printed like that, and they just... Khadija in the background, y'all. She probably feel like she gotta be super quiet, but you can talk as much as you want. This is when I, uh... This is something I pay you for, so when I pay for shit, my videos can be ratchet as fuck. And this is just the receipt. Whatever. Damn. I feel like I ordered a fucking witch McCall. <laughs> By the way, I just want to say, and then it says thank you once again. Good packaging. But the box, which I've never known, is like a mint green. This is so good. That's pretty. Then it says official shoe box. That's funny. Let me turn the light down some so y'all can kind of see it better. Y'all still can't see it. Fuck. But it's mint green. I'll show y'all another way. And then it just got off white by Virgil Races Ablo. So I'm, I'm gonna get into him just a little bit later. I think I'm gonna do a whole video on him because we already three minutes in. I, mean, I just wanna say, I did an off-white belt unboxing or it might've been a comparison like the real versus fake video. And I made a comment about him being a black brand and then not having, and then not using enough black models. And a lot of the comments said, what is a black brand? And I explained when, when brands are owned by people, um, granted, like a lot of brands like Louis Vuitton, uh, Fendi, um, I think Dior, they're all owned by LVMH, which is like Louis Vuitton, more Hennessy Group, or whatever. And so that's kind of different. Like Fenty is owned by LVMH, like the, the her, her upcoming brand and her makeup company, yes. and which I'm very excited about her getting yes. that deal. It's a very large deal. They said this is the first, first brand created by a black woman for the LVMH house. But at the same time, like, you know, so there's a lot of power and influence by the white owners as to what you can do, even though it's Rihanna, so of course, you know, she's very outspoken, she's gonna make sure she has creative control. But with a brand like Off-White, I don't think it's owned by a house, which means it's probably majorly, owned, majorly, majorly owned by him, and if he has investors or whatever, they might have certain requirements or whatever. But the problem I see is just that it seems like he has a lot of creative freedom. Like he works with Louis Vuitton now, and it, it was what he did with them that would be different. But this is his brand as far as I know. I might not be well informed. And I said that thing about the models, and a lot of people got upset with me, and they said, like, what is a black brand? It's a brand owned by a black person. So Gucci, which was invented by an Italian man, would be an Italian brand. If it's made in Italy, and it's made by an Italian, it would be an Italian brand. Granted, Dino, 
which is a very small brand, but it's a black brand. You know what I'm saying? So my point overall is just that in times where I feel like we need representation more than ever, and representation is important, like that's all that that the model thing was about. But now, um, a couple of like dope Instagrammers who like are like you know really into fashion, like some I believe one is a stylist or whatever. But he made this Insta Snap. It was like a screen record of Virgil Virgil's Insta Snap, and basically he was showing like his whole design team, his marketing team, his PR team, all these different teams um, under the Off White brand. And the motherfuckers, I know y'all mad at shit because we like six minutes in and y'all ain't see the shoes yet. But this is very important, and if you watch my channel. Fuck shoes. It's, it's, it's about a lot more than shoes sometimes, you know? And what I want to say about this specifically is just that for him to have an entire white team and not a drop of black, I believe from what I saw, he was the only black person in his Insta snaps. And that was very unsettling to me. It's almost like, do I want to support the nigga? But I mean, because where you put your money is where you put the power. And I feel like for. A uh, black guy who's from fucking Chicago, I believe. I don't know where he's from, but calling you from Chicago, I know he was like best friend, so I'm assuming he's from Chicago. It's just so dope to see him come up with such a dope brand or whatever, and it's just like, you let so many black people down by not having any black people work for you. Especially because the things that you make are, um, well, you know what? We're not even gonna get into that. I'm gonna just get back into the shoe. So I think the, the box is really cool. It says shoe box. I'm gonna say 2013. These bitches is old, old. Unless that's when the brand was started. I don't know. That says off white, care of Virgil Abloh, defining the gray area between black and white as the color off white. Really do. Um, mint green box. So this is a women's shoe. I got them because they were on sale. This is also mint green. It looks white on camera. Um, yeah, I got them because they were on sale. And hopefully I can fit them to get a women's tent. And sometimes shoes are cut different. It looks like I can fit them though. But so, um, I really didn't want these ones. I really wanted the ones that have the uh, off-white, literally, sole. And they had like hot pink shoe strings and stuff like that. What I would want with the classic color, which is like that tan gray. Thank you. And, but overall, I guess I got these ones because they were on sale. Y'all know I'm never afraid to get something on sale because life is better when things are cheaper. Um, <laughs> tell me that when I'm pricing my shit. <laughs> but, um, so, um, just to get into the shoe, it's like a rubber sole, and then we have like a, um, cloth inlay. Oh, wow, my shoelaces say shoelaces, even though I think I'm gonna switch these out for some hot pink shoestrings. Um, then of course we have the classic zip tie. This one doesn't smell anything. I got like an off-white cashmere sweater, and the zip tie smells like pussy, like fishy pussy or no cheese sticky underarms it smells like cheese sticky underarms but um i didn't know that these had like holes in them and that so i definitely need to wear a black sock and these look skinny as fuck so and the colors are really reading horrible so we got like a blue and these shoes are probably next to nothing to make y'all these are probably nothing to make because beyond the hard sole which feels like it'll be very uncomfortable and they do have this right here but all of this stuff is just printed on here. There's no like sublimation. Now personally, if I did a sneaker, I would have fought for this to be sublimated. You know what I'm saying? And this to be sublimated. Now, you know, I just went on shop style and typed in off-white tennis shoes so I could like maybe find one that was on sale. Um, because I know these are kind of like aren't new or anything. But I knew I just like missed it. It was like I missed the tennis shoe. I've been working so hard I haven't really been buying myself anything. But now we're gonna get into the shoe. Y'all already know I'm doing a separate one foot and describing the quality. So mind your business about it's not me that's saying it. All you always show the shoe for three minutes. Like go follow somebody else. Go subscribe to somebody else. But if you fuck with the way I do my videos, subscribe now. And also follow me on Instagram because I mean, how else will you get to see me wear them? You know? Well, unless I do like a hot style video or something. So we got some paper, and then we have some more paper. And then we just have a shoe. So it's like a basic like flat shoe. And then in the inside we have four, 40. And then it says made in Italy. Um, <laughs> could you remind me to take a product picture? Because I'm going to be forgetting. Not a product picture, but like a thumbnail. Like, just in case I forget. So then we got like some arrows and stuff. Honestly, these shoes, I, if they sell fake versions of them, they would probably be easy as fuck to fake. 
Ooh, when I'm looking at them from this angle right here, they give me like, uh, you know the Vans, like the slip-on ones that you, but they got the top in the front. It remind me of those, but just with a better sole and like high top. They look comfortable. This part do, but the sole feel hard. And then the inside, oh, the inside feel kind of comfortable. And y'all know, per usual, I would try to take the sole out. Let's see what we working with. So this is what's on the bottom. I don't know why these give me like, I don't know. Like why I say SPAC on the bottom one? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like that's why I really don't like. Or I love I love how the Velcro are circles though. I think that's really dope. Um, sometimes I feel like when I order from these type of websites, even though like the packaging gives like very authentic vibes. Sometimes I feel and these shoes were four forty three by the way they were on sale. I think the original price is probably like. That's not good. Mm -mm. I think the original price is probably like six something or seven hundred dollars or something like that but um i got them on sale for 443 uh like i said they were women's is a size 10 which is a men's eight and a half about so i'm gonna put the sole back and see if i can fit them but with sites like this that aren't like i don't know like they just give me like is this shit even real vibes but for my 443 these bitches is gonna be real today. And so, as usual, I always try to shoot on, on camera so you get like the real authentic. Oh yeah, these are kinda comfortable. Ew though, they kinda like show toe. If y'all know what I mean. They kinda like give like toe print vibes. Oh yeah. I hate shoes that show toes. Definitely won't, definitely need to wear a black sock with these. Cause like, this is just not ideal. I think I might keep the shoe strings black though, only because they do say shoelaces on them. Um, but I really feel like I just put on a slip on van. I don't feel like I put on like a $800 off-white shoe or a $600. I don't even know how much the original price is. But, so these jeans are, the jeans I have on are so tight, putting my shoe on the couch was hard. So, I'm just letting y'all know that now so y'all know that these jeans aren't even small enough for this shoe. I would advise you, if you're a man, to wear leggings. Just wear leggings. I have a pair of St. Laurent pants that'll probably be better though. Or pants that don't have a lot of uh, uh, cuffing or gathering. These have like a zip on the back and all of that. But uh, overall, like just putting them on, they look good on feet, kind of, sort of. I would wear a thick sock though, so um, you don't really show your toes. But these are really like true to size, so if not cut, a little small. And so those are the important things. And I'm going to show you my foot again. And when I unlaced the shoestrings, my off white thing fell out. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's nice to not know. I don't know, y'all. These just don't give me what I was hoping for. I like the look of them, but as far as, like, everything else, and this, if you watch some of my other videos, this is what I talk about when I say, like, sometimes you really be paying for the name, and I just hope that I'm held accountable for when I start or grow my brands that I won't make stuff that's just for the name. Like, I want you to get a really quality product that you're excited about every step of the way. Like... This shoe doesn't even come with dust bags. Oh, it do come with dust bags. These dust bags are kind of cool, but I mean, this is the kind of dust bags you get from Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, and everybody else. That's why I like sometimes smaller brands are way dope with them bigger brands because they got to do all of the extra stuff to get you to like buy into it. But yeah, I don't know. Y'all got to let me know what y'all think about these. They look good as fuck, though, looking at them. And like on foot from a distance, like I'm looking in the mirror, they look really good on. I can't wait to wear these. I can't wait to show y'all me and these. I might just move the camera now so y'all can see him though. But I'm not moving it off the ring light because that's too much. So y'all about to see some ghetto shit. See, let me turn this this way. I'm gonna zoom in too so y'all can see my foot. See, they look really good on. See what I mean when I say they look good on? I can show y'all like this too. Let me zoom out. Oh, fuck. Don't lose the camera now. See, they look good on. Oh, fuck. They look good on. See? But you definitely need a skinny ass jean. Like, you need leggings. And these pants are tight as fuck, but I barely can move. But it, these pants also don't have stretch, so that could be why. But. Alright, now let me put the camera back where it needs to be. Just like that, we're back set up perfectly. We a little zoom in though, but it doesn't hurt to see my face closer. Uh, we are. Uh, Way longer than I thought. 15 minutes. Definitely going to do an on foot. Maybe a hot style on foot type of video. Just because the only thing you really need to know about these shoes are like how tight does your jean need to be to fit inside these and look 
good. I'm gonna pull up some pictures of people too, maybe, so I can see. But because this video is already about 15 minutes long, it's gonna take me a hell of a long time to edit and upload. I just want you guys to know that you should have a great day. You should stay untouchable and Godspeed. Thank <laughs> you.